What's going on everyone? Welcome back to EMC, Amprat Motor Club. Today, we have the all new BMW XM. This is the second time BMW M Division has made a car all by themselves, starting over from scratch. The first one was the BMW M1, super iconic, legendary. And this time, after decades, they decided to go with an SUV. Very interesting. You know, a lot of people are wondering why. And today we're gonna to take a look and see why M Division actually came out with this instead of another M1 inspired car. I wanna take a look around and then most importantly, I wanna go for a drive and show you guys everything about this car. First, I wanna mention this color, Cape York Green. It is stunning. It's gorgeous. It's kinda of like a soft lit turquoise. This is just splendid to look at. I do like that these grills are smaller now. They're not like those huge, you know, M3, M4 grills. Very futuristic designs with the headlights thin and aerodynamics are really functional as well. We're moving on to the wheels. These are massive. Stock 23s, 275s. Um, I think it could, you know, come out a little more with EMC wheels, but interesting how they have a BMW plate right here instead of the BMW badge. And they have the gold accents that go all the way across and it kind of has a framing around the windows. It accentuates the look and makes it bigger. And that's kind of cool. And then, you know, it's kind of got these running guards from the fenders down all the way to the side skirts. It protrudes out, makes it look more masculine, makes it look more muscular. I like it. Now going all the way to the back, which is very, very cool. I see the design concept. If I'm looking like right here, I can kind of see like an M, which is very, very cool. This detail, this design, I really like it. And then what I see is the vertical staggered up and down exhaust tips. I do like this look. It's integrated into the rear bumper. Lower part of the bumper is black. And if you guys haven't noticed, there's no BMW badge. It's just XM but there's two BMW badges in the window, which is the left and right side. So I guess that is the same as the M1. They kept it in line with the heritage. Now going around this, I do notice different design cues, which is the handles. You know, it protrudes out right here. I think they made it a lot more visual. And then there's some prism-like shapes right here on top of the handle, which is gorgeous. I do want to say that the designer of the XM is actually Taiwanese, Bolson Huang. So big ups to you. Hey, you did a great job. This is beautiful, but yeah, let's check it out. Ooh, the mix match of these two colors, that beautiful chocolatey brown with this turquoise. Oh, it's so sexy. Okay, here's the key. Start, stop. Oh, it's like a theater. Uh oh, okay, it goes. There's no noise. Okay, so we are in electric mode, I guess. All right, cool. Let's go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Let's go pick up Ryan. Okay. First drive. X M. I really love the color combination. This is my thing. And I like the matte carbon fiber trim. And wow, this LED panel is not like two separate. It's one big one. And it just goes across, kind of integrated diagonally towards me a little bit, which is cool. Yes, the seats are very luxurious, very smooth and comfy, very soft, supple. It feels nice, it feels high class. This color combo, I can't get enough of it. I love it. Okay. Okay, off the line, it's pretty nice. Let's see, big boy. Yeah, stretch its legs. Okay. Sounds pretty good. So it's interesting. I can see something like a charge and then the power. Now it's charging. So when I'm not stepping on it, it's charging. Uh, when I step on it, it's using the power. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now we are in full electric mode, as you could see. Electric. 
So now I guess this is where the fuel meter would be, but it's the battery meter. Everything is blue now. Let's see if it goes fast. Let me see. Okay. Okay, it's quick. Oh, ah, all right, this is interesting. It wasn't electric, but if I just stomp on it, it kind of shifts back to hybrid. Okay, it's going 60, 70. I just hit 80. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be going this fast here. <laughs> but ah, yeah, you're right. So, we cannot just stomp on it. We have to slowly, progressively step on the gas pedal and it'll slowly increase the speed. This is from the full electric motor that's attached to the transmission, eight speed. And you know, I, I think this is a good feature. It's pretty cool that you can go all electric. I guess it's the way of the future. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go pick up Ryan. Maybe he'll drive it or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, we're here. Down. What do you think? I like it. Uh, you know, I posted about this, right? I was actually yeah. a fan, but I'm not, maybe it's not the color. Though. Well, this okay. This is my first time seeing this. I did not realize that it had the LED like yeah, thing. Yeah. 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 It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I like these cool lights that they do on the new X7 and the new 7 series as well. Yeah, I, really um, like I do like the... But yeah, this is interesting. Side by side. So this is actually shorter than yours. Well, mine's like lower. already lower. You're already lower. Mine's like lower. So... Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's wider. The car, your car's wider. Yeah, this is wider. We can go for a ride. It's like a wasabi color. Sure, yeah, man. Let's go. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So... so you want to drive? Uh... Oh, shh. Shut up. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is like matching. Hey, hey, uh, uh, driver, yeah, can you open up the back door, please? <laughs> oh, how do I open the door? Okay, here. <laughs> I thought he was going to open the door for me, but. All right. Okay. Okay, hold on. Come, come in here. Do you hear that? Do you hear the start stop sound? Yeah, it's like a theater. This then... was composed by Hans Zimmer. No bullshit. Oh, really? No bullshit. BMW got Hans Zimmer to fucking compose, compose this. Compose that sound. That sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I was like, well, when I turned it on for the first time, I was like, oh, that's a theater. Yeah, that's pretty Sounds cool. Sounds like a theater. And that's yeah. literally they got Hans Zimmer to do that. All right, let's go for a ride. Yeah, let's go for a ride. Oh man, this is what they were talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, man. See ya. I got my chauffeur ready. Thank you, chauffeur. Yeah. Close doors. Let's do that again. Well, this interior is right down your alley, bro. right? I, I love this. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I did hear a little yeah, yeah, tiny. Yeah. Pops and bangs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't driving as aggressively as you because you drive like an animal. <laughs> okay, so first impression. Yeah, I like it. Oh, these seats are. Seats. Cool. Yeah. I mean, this is a luxury SUV for sure. Like with all the quilted patterns right here. It's very supple, very plush. Yeah, it's very supple. Me sitting in the back, to be honest, this is, this is like, yeah, you, you look comfortable back Yeah, there. this is super comfortable. And you're like Ibachi. Yeah, I'm, I'm 188, bitch. Okay, I'm Papa. 188. <laughs> <laughs> now, one CM matters, all right? <laughs> I have to say, there's a lot of headroom, which is good. No matter where I put my elbows, I feel comfortable. Yeah, you have a ton of room back there. Yeah, and they made this kind of concave angle right here. So if I just put my legs here, it kind of oh, goes down. Oh, it's kind of like a sofa. Nice. Yeah. And then I was talking about this shoulder 
designed kind of like this curvature right here. So I'm actually talking to you, I'm, I'm kind of facing you yeah. at the right angle as well. And if someone's sitting back here, when they talk to me, I can kind of just face them and I don't have to twist my neck. It's got, it's got, so. a, it's got a little bit of a, of a lounge bar feel. Yes, yes, it is very loungy. I feel like I'm in like a VIP club, it's got like table light. or something. Yeah, it's got I, this, I don't know. This it's roof with that curve. Yeah. Like a this is like a lounge bar, man. Yeah, I feel like we could do some bad things in here too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did do some research. This car does the quarter mile in like 12.2 seconds. So, I mean, it's a 12 second car. Okay, I like the head. I like the heads up display. I like this interior, man. This is this, uh, some people complain about this online, but I, I think this shit is dope, son. Oh yeah, I, I, I like it. It has a very premium feel to it. Yeah, like but, everything about it. Right? But they do away with the panoramic sunroof. Okay. So you don't have that anymore. Well, because it's an M. Yeah, that's that's right. Right, because right. it's an M. That's right. You, M car can't have a sunroof, right? That is true. So it's staying true to its roots. Yeah. Like I said, this is a bespoke car that BMW made for the M department. You cannot get this car without an M badge, basically. Uh, Sunny said that there will be label red, is what they're gonna call it. That's supposed to have over 700 horsepower. You, you might need this. Do you need one of these? Oh, you're dude. an old man. Oh, like, what? This comes with the car? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Right here, so. Look, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. This is Australia. Goodbye, Wolf. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's 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 take this to the back alley, see if we can turn some heads. This is interesting. Oh. Oh, oh what? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that had like a little bit of a donkey kick. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh, wow. He's <laughs> gonna shit out of me, motherfucker. <laughs> That's just Ryan at his finest. It's just Ryan. Oh, Ryan man. being Ryan. Yeah, okay. All right, can you go back, can you go back? This guy's taking a photo. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah people are like, what the fuck is this, right? Ooh. People are looking at it. People are looking at it. People are like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. Everyone is like, what is this car? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why you get these loud colors too, right? Well, we I know, like we those know loud colors, yeah. yeah. We know. <laughs> <laughs> How much is the sticker on this thing? Uh, I think it's like Baba Dojo Bike. That's a Joe Bike. Like yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's the smaller one. That's the IX. That's the IX. Yeah, yeah. That is the little brother. This is the big bad brother. Yeah, yeah. This is the. We still got the V8 twin turbo in here. Yeah, it's a V8 twin turbo with a fucking another electric motor on top of that. That's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. Eight speed automatic. You know, I, I gotta tell you, man. The, I mean, some people talk shit on this car, but I think it's a win. Yeah. I I think that it's. It's special. It's a little bit expensive, but yo, you're gonna stand out. For me, impression, I like it. I think it's a win. This is just that much more special, I feel like. If you wanna be more unique, you wanna be a little bit faster, you wanna be, you know, turn a little bit more heads, yep. then this is your option, right? True. I mean, that's very well said. I can see myself taking this surfing. <laughs> Yeah, right? I mean, there's, there's enough room for your boards. Yeah. I actually think there's enough room for a longboard, and I could actually see myself driving this thing, to be honest, and I would probably touch this car up with maybe even some 24s. Those are expensive tires. <laughs> the, yeah, they would be really expensive tires, but, and I would look into hooking it up. It does have a 4.4 liter twin turbo, so if we change out the exhaust, I think this it would bring badass. even more driving pleasure. Yeah, because I, right? I do feel like it can be a little louder. Exactly. I think it's a great car, great SUV. I still love the color and I love the interior combo. So For me, I, I would get black on black on black, right? And uh, and I think this car in black on black on black would look fucking crazy. But yeah, uh, like Sunny said, you know, overall, you want this car to stand out a little bit more than X5 and X6M, the plug-in hybrid. So it is in a class of its own almost. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Good job, M. Yeah.
After sitting in the back and being chauffeured around by Ryan, I finally got a chance to drive this car myself properly. Nighttime drives, I think, are the best because that's how you really connect with the car. You know, I turned on the speakers, bumped some music, feeling the vibe, you know, roll the windows down. It's different. It's very, very unique. It's special. It stands out, okay? It's got a mix of everything. And when I sat in the back, I felt very relaxed, very comfortable. You know, I felt very high class. And when I'm driving it, I felt engaged. It's not the most ultimate driver's car, but it's very sporty. It makes me feel there's good feedback. It's got good speed. And I think that's what makes this car different and unique and individual. It ticks all the boxes of a lot of different categories. It does everything so well. And for me, I really like this car. Overall, I just want to congratulate BMW M for making this really dope ass car. You guys did an amazing job. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Wait, no. So, what? 那我怎么开？因为你要把门关起来，他才能开。哦。